Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're taking a look at some Garmin apps that you can use to transfer GPX files for routes or tracks that you want to navigate around. It could be you're doing an event such as the Montane Spine and you've been sent a link to download some GPX files from and you would like to get those onto your compatible Garmin device. But you don't have a computer to hand, so what apps can we use? And it will depend on what GPS device you've got. So it's only really the newer range of GPS devices that work with the Garmin Connect and the Garmin Explore apps. So if you look at something like the GPS Map 65 or 65S, which is a current four season push button unit, those devices will work with the Garmin Explore app if you haven't got a computer to hand. If you've got something like the GPS Map 66, 67 or Montana 700, 750 units, they'll work with the Garmin Connect app as well as the Explore app. Some of the very first generation 66 units, you do have to use the Explore app. It will depend on which unit you've got. You can check in your product specification or Garmin's website on the actual product spec and it will tell you if it is compatible with the apps. So the first app I'm going to show in this video is the Garmin Connect app, which I've already got downloaded to my phone and it is paired with my Garmin GPS devices. So on my 67 device that I'm using today from the setup and Bluetooth, I have paired it with the Garmin Connect app. One thing that is important to note, if you have got both apps on your phone, make sure you've only got one open at a time, otherwise you can have problems with the connection and syncing. So if you had the Garmin Explore app and you wanted to use Garmin Connect, make sure the Explore app is closed down. The main difference between the two apps really is the Garmin Connect app is the app that Whenever you do an activity and record it in your device, you can see all the stats and information clearly laid out. If you have a fitness device or something like a Garmin, Phoenix watch, an Instinct watch, etc., you see all your stats to do a heart rate, body battery, etc. But what the Connect app does really well, as long as you've got mobile data and you're online or Wi-Fi when you want to transfer a GPX file, it's really simple if you're just sending one GPX route to your unit. If you ever get sent a GPX file and you're told that it's got multiple routes embedded in the file, that is where you're better using the Explore app. But in the case of, I'm going to use the Montane Spine as an example, an, an event like the Montane Spine will send you a link where you can download individual GPX files as either the complete route or individual sections. Now I do find if you're using something like the Garmin Connect app, you're better to import the individual sections and send them to your unit. So if they've sent you something like start to checkpoint one, checkpoint one to checkpoint two, etc., they've split it down to make them more manageable. They're easier to transfer via the Garmin Connect app. So I'm actually just gonna close the app down for the moment. And I'm just gonna actually go into my files. I've actually moved on my Android phone, my files folder, just to an easy place to find. And um, basically in my files folder, I've got a downloads folder. And in the downloads folder, this is where I've been on the Monta Montane Spine link that they sent me to download the GPX files. And I've got a load of GPX files downloaded here for different Montane Spine events. Near the bottom, I've got one that is, it's the basically the Winter Spine North start to checkpoint one. And I've got three black dots to the side of it. If I touch on the three black dots, I've got the option open with. So if I select open with, as long as you've already got the Garmin Connect on your phone and paired with your device, I can select Garmin Connect. I do need mobile data when I'm doing this. And then it opens up a screen that's asking me what type of course is this? So you could select hiking or trail running. It's just gonna ha gonna be how it saves it on the Garmin Connect app. So I'm gonna select trail running, and then it'll show me an overview of the course. Shows me it's thirty nine point five seven miles. Shows me ascent and descent. And if I scroll up from the bottom, we've got an elevation graph and it's got the course name. If I touch on the course name, you can amend that, make it slightly shorter. It will depend on your GPS device, what size name will display how many characters. But I can see clearly it is checkpoint one, um, winter spine north there. So I'm just gonna say done there, 
and what I'm going to do next is if you did have a watch you were transferring it to you would normally turn on turn, um, sorry, turn notifications and if I scroll back up to done and that's one that one now saved now to transfer it to my device which is turned on and paired I've got a little icon at the top that looks like a blue phone and an arrow if I touched on that icon it will show me any of my devices that I've got connected so I've actually got a watch and a GPS map 67 I connected so I'm actually going to touch on my GPS 67 I and that now sends it to the device what i like to do just to sync manually to make sure it's going across okay i hit the little back arrow at the top left on the app and i go down to the my day in the bottom left and then where i can see an icon at the top i've actually got the watch there if i touch on that there i can just bring up all of my devices again and it's just a little manual refresh i'm going to do when the load and i'm just going to swipe down from the top of the screen and that will refresh so i've actually got where you can see the 67i it's got sync now so if i ditch touch on sync now or normally if i pull down from the top of the screen that will just do a little refresh and then on my gps device because it's been sent from the garmin connect app rather than selecting find tracks or find routes on my device i'm going to use the find button and select the option courses so it goes across as a course always make sure it's on your device before you go away to start an event if you've got something like a montana 700 series 750 you would use the magnifying glass and then select the option courses but in the gps map 67 series or if you've got a 66 that's compatible with the garmin connect app you would press your find button and then select courses just one final tip on the Garmin Connect app. Along the bottom of my screen, I've got five icons. My day, challenges, calendar, courses, and more. Now, as default, the courses menu isn't normally there. So I often find it's hard to relook and find your courses, which are the GPX files, after you've transferred them. So if you need to go back and try and transfer one again, because you find it hasn't went onto your unit, I find it is much easier to add that courses menu as a shortcut at the bottom of the connect app so the way i've done that i've touched on the more menu and where it says edit at the top right i've selected edit you can see i've got courses listed so i'm actually just going to remove courses and put it back to how it was normally so normally when you go into that edit tab you'll see challenges calendar a news feed so what i've actually done is hit the little minus next to news feed scroll down to courses hit the little plus symbol and then you must remember to do save at the top and then it makes it much easier if i want to go back and find my courses i've got the courses menu at the bottom touch on that and then it'll list any courses i've got on my garmin connect app just remember again you do need mobile data for this i can see at the top there's my montane spine one that i've just done so i can actually touch on that there bring it up again and i can do exactly the same process if i needed to resend it by touching on the little symbol that looks like a blue phone with an arrow in the top right and then picking the device it might be you have two devices and you're going to send it to a watch so it could be a case of me selecting the watch there and sending it to the watch and then i hit the white arrow back arrow touched on my day at the bottom and then i touched on the icon that i've got the watch at the top it could be your gps device if you don't own a watch and then i just always manually do a sync as well just to be a hundred percent so i hope you found this video useful the process on an iphone is the same other than on an iphone when you select your gpx file in your um, downloads on your phone you've normally got an arrow up symbol with a square box that is your share to to open with another app and then again you would just open it with a connect app to send it across to your compatible device we're going to do another video showing the explore app so if you've got a device that's compatible with the explore app one advantage the explore app app has if the gpx file's got multiple um routes embedded in it it's got no problem bringing it across where really garmin connects when it's only just one route within the gpx file also with the explore app if you've actually downloaded the gpx files to your phone which of course you will need mobile data to do once you've done that 
you can actually transfer them into the Explore app and sync them from the Explore app without needing mobile data. But you do need that mobile data before you actually download them to your phone. So we'll cover the Explore app next, which nicely covers the GPS Map 65 and 65S devices, which do use the Explore app.